All right, my people, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And I would say, I would believe you're having a great time on the show today for from the top stories to a newspaper review. From our first guest who we just interviewed, uh, Oko Ifain, that will be event planner. She give us all the updates on that industry and how they've been able to stay afloat uh, in the coronavirus situation and how they go plan to move forward post-COVID. Well, now still the conversation matter with today on top now, and I'm going to be talking to someone who is an exceptional individual. He's uh, one of the ex bb ninja housemates and he calls the self sadi sadi how you doing sir <laughs> apparently people don't call me sadi but i'm good all right all right so how, I, um, I i like to ask this question uh to all our guests how are you because it's a it's a, a honest question because coronavirus has come a lot of things have changed so how are you honestly honestly the best way to describe it would be I'm surviving. Hmm. You know, it's not been easy. This is uncharted terrain. Everything is just new. So I'm surviving. I'm learning as I go. Hmm. So looking at the situation now, what uh, the virus had done, it affected a lot of industries. Entertainment, you know, uh, oil and gas, business, a lot of industries have been affected by the virus. Yeah. And I know that you are into acting, right? So... Yes, how, how has that affected uh, this space? Seeing that if you want to shoot, you have to be on set with a lot of people in one place, and that defeats uh, the whole uh, social distancing uh, law. So how has it been for you surviving in that space? Uh, honestly, it's been absolutely madness. It's not been easy at all. First off, there are no shoots, hmm. considering, as you say, it's, yes. we are going to go into the social distancing uh, law because of, you know, what's going on right now. So mm -hmm. absolutely no shoots have happened for a couple of months. Uh, things are slowly trying to pick up right now, but still very, very st strenuous uh, kind of setup. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to people like me that are new in the industry, mm. uh, we don't have a lot of movie roles coming up. Okay. And then because of the break, uh, it has given the opportunity for a lot of producers to forget that we are acting. People like mm. us that are still new. So basically, it's been, it's been really tough, but by the grace of God, we're surviving. Now, like you said, being new in the acting industry, we know that it takes yeah. a lot to mm -hmm. build yourself up to that point where you become sought after. Like people start looking out for you. Oh, yeah, come, shoot this one for me, shoot that one for me. So uh, as, as, as a new actor in the industry, how have you been able to uh, put yourself out there, seeing the fact that... We are not doing face-to-face uh, -face auditions anymore. Because I can see that a lot of actors are now uh, using social media, TikTok, Instagram, things like that, to put their craft out there. So how have you been able to, to you know, make your own craft known to the general public this way? Uh, just exactly what you said. Uh, social media right now is like uh, is our audition room. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, a lot of us have gone deep into, we, we do nose-dived into TikTok. And, mm. and you know, making videos and the right likes of them. Uh, personally, what I do these days is to uh, you know just shoot monologues in my room, okay, in, my, in the house, and upload them. And hopefully, different directors and producers get to see these monologues and see a glimpse of what I can do. So I'm trying to constantly be in their mind, even the, even if the virus has kept me away. Mm. Mm. Okay, interesting. So, um, speaking about this acting career of yours, is this something that you've always wanted to do? Or is it because uh, of the fame that came with uh, Big Brother and Ninja House that gave you, okay, now I'm in the public eye, let me get into acting. Maybe I can maintain the focus on myself at this point. So, how, what were you doing before you uh, got into the house and you decided to go into acting? Let's start from there. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, prior to Big Brother House, uh, I was a banker. Okay. So I understand this might have been a, you know, just uh, because I'm popular now, I'm acting. I was a banker, but I, never, I didn't study banking. I actually studied industrial design graphics, uh, TV and multimedia graphics. Okay. So uh, it, industry has always been, you know, a favorite of mine, uh, but it had always been almost an impossible feat to achieve. Getting into the industry is incredibly, incredibly tough. So for me, the Big Brother house was an in to get into the acting industry. In my mind, I was like, if I could get into the Big Brother house, I'll be able to get an introduction to the entertainment industry, especially yeah. acting. And I will be able to prove myself as an actor. And 
what did it? Hmm. So it was like a perfect timing situation. Oh yeah, I don't enter the house. They go hear what when I come out. <laughs> now the idea with that. <laughs> it was perfect. I did not tire. I did not. You don't work, work, work. You don't tire. Hmm. I said. <laughs> okay, so now let's even talk about uh, the process getting into that house. You know, a yeah. lot of uh, individuals still believe that eh, now one person with no person, now in the make and they happen. So, how was your story? Did you wake up as early as 2 a.m. to get to the audition venue? Did you sleep? Did you sleep close to the audition venue? What was it for you? Bros, it shall no funny. I can genuinely understand uh, a lot of people thinking you there's no one person or another to get yes truth prior to me getting in that was my complete belief i completely believe that you needed someone but lucky for me i am an example of someone who didn't need anybody uh the first day i went the i audition i went to the audition uh, play, uh location twice the first day i couldn't get in the mm. crowd was you know just incredible yeah guys just they each other everywhere back and forth <laughs> me i did come home like, I know I'm push. I did corner, they look at the form, you know, one guy punch. You're the chill, fresh boy. You know the stress I said, so I just did it. But I'm going to play for me. Hmm. Oh, I think it's a bit freezing. I think it's freezing. Eh, uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. definitely try to connect back. Uh, are we back? Are we back? Okay, I think we're back. Yes. Yeah, we had a little uh, yeah. connection glitch there. But go ahead, you were saying. Okay. Oh, I think the network is still giving us a bit of uh, difficulties. But we'll try and, um, you know, connect back again to Sadi. Now, he was giving us his experience behind the whole process of, you know, getting into the Big Brother Niger house. And we know how, uh, as, how controversial that uh, story can be. Hello, Sadi, are you back with us? Sorry, your boss. Yes, I'm no, back. Okay, okay. no, okay, no, I believe I said some kind of connection, they interfere. Maybe in our village people. We don't know. <laughs> give me small time i'll call them back I'll call <laughs> okay okay so yes you were saying that uh you were giving leading us through the process of how you got in so the first day as i said i couldn't get in uh it was just it was it was an impossible fit and so i left i was like you know this is not for me i can't do this and then the second day a friend of mine called i was like okay so this is more organized now there's a line there's a list i've written your name down Come please through. hurry over I'm like Dude, what we went through yesterday, I can't come and go through it again. Ah. He said, no, my name, we're close to entering, I should please just rush down. And so I did. I yes. rushed down. I did shower because it was like very early in the morning he called and I, I couldn't shower, I couldn't do anything. I just wore my clothes and I wore joggers and a shirt and wow. my runnings. I went there and, you know, one thing led to another, from one state to another. It was like, play, I didn't, I didn't believe it until, you know, I went Was this in, in Lagos? You did the audition in Lagos? Okay, no, I did my first audition in Abuja. Okay. There are several steps to the audition. My first audition was in Abuja. Was in Abuja, Abuja. okay. Okay. We well, flew to Lagos to do the remaining part. So, so you flew yourself to Lagos for the second audition, or they Oh, flew... no. The choice is incredibly beautiful like that. They flew, they flew me in, they, flew, they fly us in. Oh, nice. After the first auditions, every other thing that involves anything financial is on them. They take care wow. of Wow, amazing, amazing. So um, now you've, you've given us this story about how you got in. Now, in the house, we noticed mm. that you were kind of very close to Tatcha, right? Yes, if I'm correct. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. You no, were you're not wrong. Are you sure yeah. you want to tell us yes or no? Let's move forward with the next no, question. Okay, no, you no, guys. I don't, I, I don't hide shit. Okay, so you guys were close in the house. So how has it been after the house? Have you guys, you guys still, are you still close? Do you still keep in touch? Are you still, you know, how has the relationship been? In my, right now, I think we're closer than we were in the house. And the house, they didn't, the house didn't afford us enough, uh, you know, sense of privacy to discuss uh, more intense conversations in terms of personal discussions and stuff. And right now outside the house, been able to do that we are much more closer closer we know each other in a, on a different level right now so yes we're closer than we were in the house hmm. now uh a, a lot of people will think that okay maybe the reason why you guys were close maybe something was brewing maybe it was more than what we saw 
But as you take talker, you have gotten closer than you were in the house. Yeah. Uh, we go ask, how closer is this closer, sir? So that we can <laughs> quantify the closeness. And then... Uh, ah, quantify the closeness. She's just serious. Okay. <laughs> I, so, I understand. Tell, tell, the boy and girl closeness is always suspect. Like, yes, yeah, so you have to be. You have to check it well. So uh, uh, let us uh, know this closeness. I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I guys check. But <laughs> truth is, he and I have a, a a respectful relationship. We understand that we're both in separate relationships, romantic relationships. Yes. And so it's not about us. It's just genuine friendship. Genuine friendship. Okay, yes. nice one. At least you don't talk and hear today for the show. If anything exactly. happened, we yes. are, if we see picture of wedding something, we go bring this interview, come out. Say now, wait till you talk with this. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Ah, nice one. Politician. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now uh, we see that uh, the, the, the BBA, BBN reunion has started. And a lot of people, don't they come out, they talk their mind, speak their mind. So would you say, would you clearly say that people were being uh, two-faced in the house if they can have the reunion now and everybody is bringing out um, secrets and, you know, condemning the next person? Would you say that to a level there was a bit of um, not being sincere for them being in the house? How you guys were in the house? How would you, um, so what would you categorize this reunion outburst happening? So, truth be told, yeah, I, I, I'm, go I'm going to spell it out in the best way I can. Mm. First of all, I would like to address the, 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 the phrase two-faced. Mm -hmm. I think two-faced just means that uh, you were one person here and you are And the other person. one somewhere else, yes. It doesn't necessarily mean a negative thing. And this is where we need to, this is the take we need to get from it. Now, when we talk about um, the housemates, whether or not we were two-faced, or the fact, especially the fact that there's a lot of baggage, a lot of stuff that needs to be said right now. Truth is, we, well, nobody who did not go into the Big Brother house will know this, but the Big Brother house is a very complicated place mm. to be in or to be at. It is not a normal place. It is, it is not your everyday location. Okay. And because it's not your everyday location, you cannot have your everyday attitude towards it. You mm. cannot be your everyday self. So regardless of how simple you are, certain things will have been different about your character in but it, that house. But they expect you to be yourself. Is that not the idea? Bros, how yourself can you possibly be with 25 new people that you have to instantly start sleeping in the same house with? You, mm. you don't know them, you have no prior connection to them. You just come and live with them without your natural distractions like TV, phones, like me and you, for, for example, we meet now today. We don't necessarily have to talk for too long, even if we are locked in my house together, because yes. there are the, there's TV, there's the phones, there are, there are different things to do. But in the Big Brother house, all that is taken away. All you have is your human interaction. That is an uncharted terrain right there. Mm. That's something that no one, no, none of us had experienced prior to that time. So mm. even us, we were learning about ourselves in that situation. So what you got, really, might have been the reality of that situation. Mm. But we're in a different reality, right? So, of course, a little, the different things will have changed. Of course, the core of your character is something that should be constant, regardless of where you are, that core. But certain attributes of yours will change as regards where you are. Where you are Again, at that time. Mm. Out right now. Mm. So, uh, you wouldn't say it was... Uh financially motivated, seeing the fact that we are all gunning for this money. And uh, if we respect ourselves, we might actually win the money. If, if, if I don't show myself, do you think that was, was also a factor? It, definitely, it was definitely a factor. You, you, bro, you didn't play PS? Yeah, no. Yes, no. Okay, perfect. So when you and your boy you don't play PS, how you they take the? Is it normal? You know where they cast them? Nah, you cast them now. Nah. <laughs> exactly. We just remember I said the Big Brother house, that game. So in that game situation, we said that play game. Hmm. Hmm. The reason Big Brother in, in the sense of, in its actual sense, because it, we've been told, it's a game. It's, it's a, a game, reality so. game. Yeah. We're playing game. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, now, speaking about uh, the situations that happened in the house. Now, uh, there have been uh, a, a conversation or a situation that's happened between Omoshala and Mercy. 
and it's been a rave on social media. People have been dropping their comments, their sides to the story. Now, for someone who was inside the house, someone who actually experienced the situations, uh, the energy, the vibe, you know, the, 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 the emotions in the house, what is your take about this situation that is brewing and everybody is talking about it? The Omashala um, and um, Mercy's conversation. Honestly, I do not, I do not like to talk about things I do not know of, and the things that the the conversation that is in the uprise right now is something I was not party to. Okay, I wasn't in the house when this happened. I think, and even if I was, I wasn't in that situation. So I it came as news to me to coming out. So I think, of course, they had uh, things to discuss about, and in my opinion, they've done that, and you know, they are in a better place. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so now speaking about uh, we've we've talked about uh, BBN and there about now let's even talk about you personally. Uh, seeing the fact that okay after BBN you decided to you know to launch your acting career and uh, so far so good. How how has it been? Because a lot of people um, go into BBN looking for that platform. You know, use it as a platform to show, like you said use as a platform to, to kick off a next uh, level of their career. Now, has this yeah. happened for you, knowing that, okay, you're an actor now, how often do you get uh, um, the, 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 the traction from producers, directors, or when you reach out to them and you let them know that, oh, I'm an ex-BBN uh, housemate, how do they receive you? Has it changed? Has anything changed? Oh, I, I think he's frozen again, but uh, I believe we're going to be connecting back so that he can answer that question. Because a lot of people believe that, ah, just go into Big Brother House, where you just day like this, you go, you're blue, even if you say no win, people will see you.